Hey guys, I have another overwash look for you. This one is inspired by Hanzo. To begin with, I'm taking my Morphe Brushes palette, Picasso, and selecting the yellow and running that through my crease with a pretty fluffy brush. Then I'm taking the white and using that as a brow highlight. Then I'm using this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and using the medium brown, putting that in my crease as well. blending it out. Then I'm taking the deepest brown in that palette and using it to darken my crease further. And of course, blending that out. Then I'm taking my concealer, which is Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy, and putting that on a flat brush, and then carving out my lid space to form a cut crease. Then I'm using the navy blue from the Morphe Brushes palette, and I'm patting that onto the outer part of my lid. blending it a little bit. Then I'm taking that dark brown again, and I'm going to put that in the outer V of my eye. And blending. Then I'm taking the yellow, putting that on the center of my lid. And then taking the white and using that in my inner corners. Then I'm just taking the navy blue again and putting that under my eye. as well as that dark brown. Then I'm just taking a brown pencil liner and putting that in my waterline. Now I'm using Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Echo as my eyeliner. curling lashes, and applying mascara. Then 
Then I'm using the liquid lipstick again for my actual lips. Now the look could be done here, but if you also want a beard, then stay tuned. I'm taking my contour color, which is Tornado by Divine Cosmetics, and I'm putting that in the area that the beard is going to be. Then I'm taking LA Colors Jumbo Pencil on a really, really thin ankle brush, and I'm drawing little hairs. I keep looking back at my computer to uh, see a reference I have up. Good idea to have one. Then I'm taking the same product on an eyebrow spoolie and I'm blotting that around the area and pulling it down to make uh, different irregular dots and lines and things like that. If you have a stipple sponge, that will work way better. I just don't have one with me. Then I'm using Sugar Pills Bulletproof Shadow and I'm deepening the area filling in little creases almost like if you were drawing in your eyebrows and you wanted to fill in some areas with eyeshadow. Then I'm cleaning off my mascara wand and I'm using that very sparingly. I know it ends up looking kind of harsh and I block it with my fingers and stuff, but I'm really just trying to use it for the texture of the brush. Then I'm kind of just going backwards now and I'm using that angled brush again. And lastly, putting the contour back on top of it to kind of set it back in space a little bit and make it less harsh. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.